dive on in. So the last big set piece of the film revolves around the remaining losers diving deep into the dairy sewer system to retrieve Beverly, who's been captured by It after her run-in with her own father. In the scene that follows, not only does Pennywise put on a dance of a lifetime, he also gives our first indication to his otherworldly nature. Defying the clown and stating that she's not afraid of it, Pennywise gives a growl and remarks how soon she will be, before opening his maw to reveal a bright, endless swirl of morphing lights behind rows of sharp teeth causing Beverly to lose herself for a moment and join the other children in floating. This comes into play much later within the movie, as after the big showdown that all of the losers have with Pennywise, the clown backs into a deep hole and disappears into the ethereal blackness, seeking to escape the children that somehow managed to defeat it. After the ordeal, Beverly gathers the boys around and tells them about what she saw as she was suspended in her comatose state, claiming that she could see them all together in the same cistern, but that something was far different. They were all much older, about their parents' age, and that all she could remember was how scared they all were. After this, the children make a blood oath, each having their palms cut and vowing that no matter what would happen to them in the future, no matter where they were or who they were with, if it ever came back, they would return as well to kill it for good. After this, each of the children leaves to finish out their summer and begin the first day of the rest of their lives after finally conquering their deepest fears. This is where chapter one ends. The final scenes of It act mostly as a way to set up the next chapter of the saga, foreshadowing to the return of the Losers Club as they encounter it once again as adults. Beverly witnessing the events while suspended in Pennywise's lair not only acts as foreshadowing, but it also acts as a way to hint to the larger mystery surrounding It in general. In the new movie Out Now, what exactly It is and what its purpose for feasting all remains in the dark. The entire goal of the first movie, according to director Andre Muschietti, was to focus on the emotional journey of the children. The dimensional angle of Pennywise was always intended to be explored in a second part, so that the first chapter could shroud the entity in mystery and make the children's confrontation of it seem more like a confrontation of their own fears. It was just something that wouldn't fit the context of the narrative they were trying to create for the first film, but the sequel was always meant to encompass this aspect, apparently. Still, that doesn't stop this movie from hinting towards it. That scene where Beverly sees the lights deep within Pennywise has a lot to do with the entity's true identity and place of origin. Swirling amorphous orange lights that seemed to go on for eternity. These were the deadlights. The look into its true form, a form so incomprehensible that it drives Beverly into a comatose state where seemingly her mind was lost in this endless plane, allowing her to witness time in a non-linear fashion and to witness the group's return to Derry years later. This effectively makes the audience curious about Pennywise's true nature and whether or not he can even truly die. Though the tagline chapter one probably would have given that away anyway, it's still a tie-in that helps to expand on the idea that there's more to this creature that that we still do not know. For many fans that are just getting into the story through this movie, the creature seems to vanish into nothingness, and the kids can continue their lives with the knowledge that they liberated the town and avenged all of the children that had fallen prey to its hunger. But there's still so much that there's yet to know about the entity, and we'll discover all of that sometime in the next two years. As THR has reported that Gary Doberman, the revisionist and credited co-writer for the film, has been signed on to pen the second chapter. This movie has remained pretty much faithful to the original novel, so we'll have to see how closely they stick to the framework for the adult portion of the story. Though if they do, we might be seeing some pretty heart-wrenching ends for some of these misfits when they return to battle their nightmares all over again. But that's it for this video. Thank you all for tuning in, and let us know how excited you are for the next chapter of Stephen King's It. This is Luke with the Hybrid Network, and we'll catch you all next time.